Hi guys, last video I'd brought the hull into the shed because I thought I was going to be away from home for a while but we ended up getting things done quicker than we anticipated. After having a week's break I was pumped to get back into it. When I left the boat last time my dad and I weren't quite able to get the deck onto the hull nice and we thought it would be a good idea to get a proper dummy fit of the deck to the hull before finished paint on the deck. The deck needed to be pulled to the back of the boat so as you can see I mounted some strong fixings into the transom and one into the front of the deck where the bowsprit will cover eventually. Then I tried to pull it into place with an extravagant pulley system. I'll be able to use the pulleys for something later down the track. I didn't expect it to take so much force. So close. So close. I got it down to 20 mil here. It's because it's trying to get the bend here and pushing it all back. I couldn't quite get enough pull with the pulleys I got. The stupid thing is I've got a two ton block and tackle that I lifted the motor up with that I should have used. But instead I went to my local ship chandlery which is just down the road and got more more pulleys and with an inbuilt cleat this time. Pulleys always come in handy anyway. I put my safety glasses on, tensioning it at the end, just in case something explodes. It looks like I'm gonna make it now. We'll come really close. Just these corners are a little bit funny. The most thrusting I've done for a while. Hoping I don't put a hip out so I can keep thrusting one day. <laughs> That was easy. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like at the front. It's a little gap, but I need to squash it down. See what happens. I really should have cleaned up the edges of the hull with a grinder even before considering squashing the deck to the hull. It'll probably be a sloppy fit when I go to do it properly. But I'm happy I got it to fit. We'll see if when I let the block and tackle go, it stays there. All good. Wrong now. <laughs> it's a nice fit, isn't it? I just wanted to show you guys the front of the boat mainly so you know what my plans are and so I know what my plans are and so I can see how things should come together. The big circle is where my 18 inch subwoofer is. You can see where my drum anchor winch is mounted. The bowsprit will be mounted to the bottom as well. That's where my toilet will be and that's where my fridge will be, which will be a part of the L-shaped lounge that I'd like to be able to slide towards the back of the boat with the actuators for easy access. So you can see why I want to move this motor over here.
I really need to make the proper fiberglass bowsprit. This one is just the plug still. I'm a real fan of the drum anchor winch. I've had terrible experiences with the other type. They get clogged up in the anchor well and you need to stoke it so the chain falls down properly. Um, this is no hassles. Or it shouldn't be anyway. I might be able to stick a, another anchor just in front of the bowsprit. A reef anchor or an emergency anchor. Half of that anchor compartment is a subwoofer box so there'll be a big divider there. We'll see how it turns out. I've been trying to decide on what the cabin shape should look like so I can make the side windows. I'm not having any luck with stainless frames. I'm going to have to get another one of these to fit this anchor because I don't want to go any smaller. But this anchor is too big to go into here and I kind of need it before I start doing all the stainless in here. So, uh, yeah, that's another chore. My dad told me I should get a different type of anchor that'll fit into that, which he reckons you can get these awesome anchors called a Vulcan or a... I can't remember the name, but I'll probably just get a new anchor. And uh, this roller has two settings as well. It should be in there, but I can't get the bodgy self-tappers into here. So... That rope should be sitting down a little bit lower. Give me a little bit more uh, room in between the pulley and um, the bottom of that. What do you guys reckon about the bonnet scoop on the anchor hatch? You reckon it'll suck up too much water and wind? So I've been measuring stuff. Overall, mine 7.6 meters or maybe a tiny bit less. And um, Luke's one's 7.3 meters. And I know that doesn't sound like much, but with boats, it's tons. So um, I'm confused because my windows are 600 and uh, like nearly 700 high, but that's with uh, um, smaller sides here. Original sides I'm talking um, about. And his are, uh, where are they? 470. So, uh, uh, I don't know. I do want to make the windows bigger so I've got more head height, but I still want it to look cool. Which is also why I'm worried about making the cabin stretch too long. I'm just going to flip this so this bit is down here. So I can spin the drum around so the drum motor will be on the opposite side of the divider for the subwoofer. Trust me, the speakers are going to make the boat awesome. And these are the cleats that came with the boat and they were mounted like that, I'm pretty sure. But I, yeah, I've got two of them, so I'm pretty sure that that's what they're from not from another boat um i know that's not so good for when you're doing fishing because you don't want to snag it and whatever but it is handy to be able to ravel stuff i'm not a huge fisherman but i'd say i'll be doing some but later down the track i've already thought about it i, I can easily just cut that bit of the uh, i've seen that they put the cleats i know luke's got his down here and, um, and it just goes through a hole in here with a stainless. I'll do that later if I want to, but I just need to get this thing in the water. <laughs> and I keep thinking, imagine if this was all painted, how awesome it would be. Like I would actually be able to start building bulkheads and fiberglassing up here and doing this bulkhead with the subwoofer and the subwoofer box and it's going to be full on. I reckon I'll, I'll get it really cool. And then with the dunny, um, 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 uh, I've, I've got like, um, this is the stringer here or the freshwater tank slash stringer. Um, 
I'm gonna build like a, a divider here. This boat is a small boat. I'm trying to get this through my head. So I've got my Esky here, my cooler. Um, I want like an L-shaped lounge that'll go uh, uh, like that. I don't know if you can see that pencil line. I'm not that crazy on having l shape. I don't like, um, I don't like um, beating into waves side on. So when you're, you're sitting like, uh, 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 like that. So, uh, but I, I, I need to get it in my head. Small boat, it does, it is more space efficient like that. And um, I'm gonna run with that. <laughs> I've got this massive opening, which I think will be cool because when I go to sleep, I'll be probably having my head like here and I'll be able to look through the front window at the stars. And then before I sleep, I'll just be able to get the hatch and then go eh, eh, and, and, and bring this out. And then it'll be a little bit darker for me, which is nice. Or I'll stick my head down there and then it won't be a problem at all unless I have that open, which is, yeah. And I've like ordered like a mother load of different type of actuators. <laughs> like way too many. Like I'm making a um, summary of all the money that I've spent on the boat so far. And I've realized that <laughs> I buy way too much stuff. I always buy way more than I need, but that's only because I've run out of stuff so many times. I um, I never want to run out again. <laughs> so I've only got a couple of weeks, probably more like a week and a, a little bit of free time. Well, probably less than that actually. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, now, anyway. Tell me what you guys reckon I should do. Rip the top off, paint the deck, just concentrate on the deck, leave the hull out in the weather for a little bit longer, or finish off all the little panels and stuff. I definitely think there's been some positives about bringing the boat in um, and, and lifting the deck up and doing a, a actual proper dummy fit. So I've got it actually on all the way around and this is the only place it cracked and that would be hidden by the aluminium strip that goes around here um so that's good i'll i'll fix that up probably tonight and um i've got got to fix some fiberglass work over there yep. This is how I'm having the anchor hatch open. I'm hinging it from that side. It'll be good because it'll never blow open. There'll probably be a bow rail that'll lean on there. I just wanted to see how it'd work. I had to grind that lip off. <laughs> and I, you would, I don't want to say how long that just took me because I I've just got some bodgy steel screws in there and I, I uh, pre-drilled them and um, I snapped a screw off in in the first hole that I did. So it took me ages to cut, get that out. And then I snapped the drill bit. Oh, that's life. 